Hey, this is Shabasi Gunner back here again today. Uh, just kind of talking a quick couple points about the difference between semi-autos and revolvers. Uh, here's my Taurus 44 tracker. Uh, this is chambered in 44 Magnum and my P320 in 9mm. This is a 5 shot 44 mag. Uh, you can get this exact same frame in a 357 as well. Um, in the P320, obviously, there's a lot of different options there. 940, I believe you can get 357 SIG. Um, a little bit different, but you can get a 45 platform as well. So, and they're all, they all change different capacities. But the biggest thing is, you know, with semi-autos, you're going to have a lot more ease of use as far as, you know, reloads, um, as far as takedown. You know, it's real easy to go ahead take it down, get everything you need to, if something was to kind of go to crap on you, and be back in business. The revolver, uh, if you want to, if something breaks on it, which doesn't always happen, uh, but something may happen, uh, you gotta go ahead and take the grip off, especially on this example. You gotta take the grip off, take the side plate off with a couple screws to get down to anything. So not as user serviceable, uh, but definitely easy. Uh, so when it comes down to it, uh, there's a lot of views on this. Um, obviously, depending on your needs, uh, both of them would suit anybody really well um, for like a home defense situation or CCW option. Um, but, and I mean, it's hard to be a semi-auto just for some of the reasons I've already described. But one thing you do get with a revolver is you do have some some massive capabilities out of you know power um so this i got this as kind of a trail gun light pack gun um to take with me if i go camping or something like that and it's it's not really like small but i mean this isn't a real small shit i mean you wouldn't want too much smaller 44 mag as it is um yes yeah, so you can get snubs and stuff like that this is a four inch barrel uh, but that's <laughs> that's basically uh, what you'd kind of want out of a 44 mag to be able to get the speeds that you want um, to really let it shine. Uh, your revolvers do have a very nice option of doing you know double single action. You can get semi autos with that as well. Um, but the single action revolver, very nice, smooth, um, very easy to shoot. You know accurately. I have. Well, I'll grab out my my big boy, my 44 mag raging bull. I mean, I this one I took out as my main deer hunting uh, gun this year. Um, that's kind of my purpose of this. So, same caliber, uh, but different niches. Uh, Semi-auto. I mean, you can do hunting and stuff like that, and outdoors wood protection and stuff like that, but. Um, they are really more suited to home defense and for CCW markets. Um, I don't think anybody would say this would be a great CCW. Uh, just because of the sheer size. This is an 8 and 3 8 inch barrel. Just massive. Um, this one you could argue a little bit more. But, you know, biggest thing I'll say, I mean, I've carried revolvers before. Um, they do tend to be a lot thinner. Uh, especially through most of the gun. Obviously, the cylinders are fat. Uh, so this is a 44 mag. <laughs> it's it's wider than, you know, it's a big round. So it takes a lot to be able to actually hold even in it. I guess if you made it a four shot, you could make it quite a bit thinner, but it is what it is. Um, but when you compare, you know, overall chunkiness, you know, it's very slender through the barrel and through the actual frame. It's just that cylinder. So depending on you know how you're carrying it, this might actually a revolver might be comfier than you know a blockier gun like this. But that's also to say, you know, very slim uh, nine millimeters and stuff do exist, like the three sixty five, uh, with you know good capacity as well. So uh, when it comes down to it, um, the manual of arms are you know there's really not anything too different. Uh, they're pretty similar. You know you're you got. Regular sights, just like any other gun. Um, 
And I, I mean, I don't think you'd be hard pressed to argue for either one. Uh, this would maybe be a little overpowered, obviously, for maybe home defense. Uh, but that's, you can get lighter 44 mag loads. You got that option, that's another good thing. You can shoot 44 specials out of this. If it was a 357 version, you could shoot 38 specials out of it as well. The nines, you basically have um, a nine millimeter and you got the plus P option or plus P plus if you're gonna try it. Um, you do give a little bit uh, up as far as case capacity because you gotta fit your round inside your magwell. Revolvers don't really have that because you put everything up here um, but it is what it is so I mean it's gonna be a personal preference for anybody I I've went back and forth year after year uh, you know thinking <laughs> what I liked more um, and I go through phases uh, sometimes I really enjoy a semi-auto just the ease of you know reloading and shooting and you got good capacity and everything then I like taking it, slowing it down a little bit. Um, revolvers are really nice to shoot for target shooting. Uh, and they hold their own as far as uh, self-defense as well. I don't think anybody would say that this would be a bad option. You just, you only have six shot or five shots is all. Um, so, I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. And, uh, I mean, let me know what you guys think. Because uh, I know there's a lot of varied opinion on it. Um, you know, everybody's got their own opinion. So, my opinion is, I don't think you'd do bad with either. Um, maybe that's kind of a, a pussycat opinion, but um, that's why I have both. And I think everybody should have both. I think everybody should have a, a revolver, at least a 357 mag. You know, about this size, you know, 4-inch barrel, maybe even a 3-inch. Um, I think everybody should have one of them. And... It's just a good option uh, to have. It gives you a lot of flexibility. It gives you good choices. I'm not saying you know it'd be great in the city, uh, but for if you live in the country, I think it's very well suited um, to be able to have this and carry it. Good truck gun. You never know what you're going to come into. Um, as far as you know, having a semi-auto, I think everybody should have one of those as well. I would think that having a higher capacity compact nine millimeter. And a powerful revolver would be, honestly, a need-to-have basis. Um, if you just had two handguns and you had, you know, a 357 or a 44 mag, even a 38, uh, I think it's great to have both options to be able to choose and use accordingly throughout your life. Um, and basically, from this point on in my life, I'll probably always have at least one of these types. Um, I've been very happy with my handguns as of late. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think on this uh, topic because um, I tend to just think that you should have both. So, alrighty. Thanks for watching.